we know that we will have to specify the page we want when doing searches. So here we have to add the page parameter now. Do we want to explicitly tell every time what page we want? Well, maybe not if we just want the first page, but for the rest, uh, yeah. So what we can do is um, we have to, to add here a page argument. And now I can do find and then the fifth page. Yeah. And then if I map on the title. So you can see now, I can start getting the list of titles for a certain query. But the problem again is I want all of them in one vector. This is a classical recursion kind of thing if you're Lispa because you need to um, just loop over the pages, right? There's nothing else to it. And looping in Lisp is recursion, right? Like you don't need looping constructs. And I'm stressing this because I'm coming from the SIGPI tradition and the scheme tradition where you start learning your trade basically with recursion, which will teach you complexity of computations. And these are the things that gra grounds you in, in, the, in the field, right? So, so it's like a, it's a must to, to start with with the solution, even if we are going to see other solutions later. But um, for now, I want to do a recursive uh, solution, the classical one. We're going to do explicit recursion first. Let's call this uh, find rec. And we have to tap in the query. and the number of pages. And page and results. And then if page is Total pages, tell the results. If not, full increment page and uh, conch the results. So I think and in the um, something like that. And then here I just started one. Trying to 
out for five pages. That's hard to mix. Yeah, five. So the the let fn let fn uh, construct is what allows us to. Uh, we do recursion in that blocks. There is no tail call elimination in uh, in the JVM. Blah blah blah. So that's that's explicit recursion. And let me check. Let's do a real a real um, a real thing. Like for example, when I said find. Or, and I ask for the total results, total pages, sorry, total pages, it's 217, right? So, actually, I know that here I need 217, right? So, I need here the results. So now it's actually doing 217 times the call. That's why the movie DB is a nice playground because there is no limit. Normally they would suspend your account for doing too many calls. But this takes a while. It takes a long while. Maybe we switch to peace because peace is um, has less results, unfortunately. Yeah, let's do that. Peace. 15, that's better. So let's do that. Peace. 15. Fourteen. That's um because we missed the last one. If I stop when page is total pages, then then I miss the last page. So I need something like when like this. And beautiful. So Take a moment to to look at this function because I find the recursive uh, solutions always fascinating. That's me. Um, they are fascinating because they are elegant. They are elegant because they are close to a mathematical definition of. Uh, um, induction process, right? So this is the base case, this is the inductive step, and that's how you do a lot of definitions in math where recursion is involved, and it's like one-to-one, -one, um, basically, mapping of the concept. That's why I like recursion so much. But there is a problem um, in doing that on the JVM, no tail elimination at a, after a certain amount of 
recursive steps, you will uh, blow the stack. So basically, we don't want to do that. But unless you know, it's not going to be, unless you know the the number of, of uh, recursive um, iterations is, is low, then you can do it, no problem.